Preacher here. Join me for a moment of devotion. Preacher here. This is a moment of devotion. You know, Matthew 13, 16 says, But bless are your eyes because they see, and your ears because they hear. For truly I tell you, many prophets and righteous people long to see what you see but did not see it, and to hear what you hear but they did not hear it. You know, as a Christian, we get to see the full story of the gospel. We get to live what it means to be forgiven because Jesus died on the cross for our sins and many people lived with a faith in the past looking forward to that looking forward to Jesus coming looking forward to the Messiah there are lost people today that don't realize that Jesus is the Messiah and they're still looking forward for the Messiah but we've got to see who Jesus is we got to to experience what it's like to have the love of God in our hearts if you are a Christian, if you truly believe. And if you don't, Jesus died on the cross for your sins. He rose again in three days. And if you believe that, you're going to heaven. It's not being religious that saves you. It's having a relationship with God. And you know, when we do this, we should be seeking God. We should be studying to get to know Him. We should be pursuing God in His Word. And we should be protecting our heart. You know, it is so easy for people to be distracted by the busyness of life. Many things can fill your life and push out time for God. Time for church. And other ways that you could be growing spiritually. We stop and think about this. In the eternal light of things. How many of those things are going to actually matter in 10 years, in 15 years? Many of them won't. But what makes an, ex uh, an eternal difference is your walk, your relationship with the Lord. And yes, you may have a family, and that family may keep you busy. I'm not saying abandon your family for faith. What I'm saying is raise your family. Teach you kids about Jesus. Use that as a time to be able to share with you. Anyway, stay strong in the Lord, keep it shiny side up, and be blessed.